you're going to be dealing with spondylolisthesis, like myself, very common condition, uh, the vertebrae in the low back has slipped, typically low back is where we'll see it, uh, very painful condition, very unstable, these exercises will help stabilize that area. So um, if you have one of these, Dr. Biagini, I'll have you go on your back. And number one, to help strength, uh, strengthen, uh, sorry, stretch this area out, which will feel really good, is simply just to bring your knees both up all the way to your chest, and then you're going to put pressure down, and that's going to help flatten and stretch out that low back. That should feel good for someone with a spondylo. The higher and the more down you can get that pressure going, um, you'll hold that for 30 to 60 seconds. You can do it up to 50, uh, um, sorry, excuse me, up to five times um, in that position. So, is that good? Number two, while you're on your back, you can use a molding wedge. Uh, if you don't have these, you can get information below, uh, but just contact us. We can show you how to get these, but you're going to slide this in under. This can be done on a nightly basis. The point of the wedge points towards the head, and you slide it in so it's right on the flat part of your back, right in the middle where your sacrum is. So it'd be just below your lower back. Put it right on that sacrum. Now, when your legs are bent up, it takes some of that pressure off, but if you want it to do even more of an effect, you straighten your legs out, which is gonna be more pressure. If you're very acute and it's painful, you might not be able to do that yet, but that's gonna help lift the bone underneath where the spondylolisthesis is to help level it out. So the stretching by bringing your legs up and then blocking is what helps stabilize this area. You need to have a proper evaluation by a chiropractor that corrects the spine before and after x-rays to actually know um, how bad it is and what can be done with it. You also want testing x-rays if your chiropractor doesn't know what that is. Um, you need to find one that does from a perspective of doing weighting systems and testing to see how bad it is, how unstable it is, so you can help get it stabilized. If you can control these, I know for myself, I have one, you can live a relatively pain-free life, keeping it stable by stretching it, strengthening it, and knowing and monitoring it on a yearly basis to make sure it doesn't get worse. So there you go, spinal thesis. There's your exercises.